there is a brand new patch out for The Sims 4. The patch is 444 megabytes, which is quite large for a patch. As always, with brand new updates being pushed out, you should always back up all of your save files as well as remove all of your CC and mods until we know how this patch will affect all of that content. The patch notes read, Hello Simmers! We had a case of stretchy sims running around, especially in the younger ages. In this update, we've been working to get them back to their correct proportions, among other things, the sims team. I am very happy to read that because my infant sims have been stretching up to as tall as my adult sims, so I am very happy to see this. Under the what's new section, it reads, in this update, we have new decoration options to help you add that personal touch to your builds, new underwear options, and The Sims 4 gets Mac native support for those simmers using M1, M2 processors. First on the what's new list is a Sims session collab with Becca Hatch. So let's jump in. Australian singer Becca Hatch and producer Tendino have teamed up with The Sims 4 to bring bless, or should that be boofed, to your Sims when they tune into the pop radio station. Be sure to watch The Sims Sessions episode where Becca describes her inspirations and shows off what goes into singing a song in Simlish in The Sims Sessions episode below. That's not all. Becca's Sim Self will be available to download directly from the gallery and can join your Sims in their worlds. And here we have an image of Becca's Sim Self, so if you want this Sim, make sure to go to the gallery to get her. Native support for the latest Mac CPUs. This release brings native support for Apple Silicon chipsets on top of the ongoing support for those with an Intel-based Mac. New underwear options. New underwear options for your teen and older sims are available in CreatorSim. So there is actually quite a lot of options here. I'm surprised to see it, but I'm always happy to have new things in my game. New ways to decorate. Hi everyone, SimGuru Beth here. I'm very excited about today's update, especially the new decor placement options you'll find across various bathroom fixtures. It was so fun to work with the team and add new small decorative slots to toilets, standalone sinks, bathtubs, and more. And in some cases, there was room to support a medium decorative slot. These build mode quality of life updates are one of my favorite things to work on as an object modeler. They add so many more options for designing any build. And they shared this image that shows exactly how much you can now clutter. This is very surprising to me. I did not expect them to add anything like this at all. More decorative spots is huge for builders out there. I cannot wait to get in my game and play with this. And in addition to the above updates, a few new color variants have been added to round out some of our basics for the towel storage rack, full and empty version, and the Countryside Keras Medicine Cabinet. Under bug fixes for base game, we have a lot of bug fixes here. Among those bug fixes is infant food preferences no longer reset when going to CAS from Manage World and returning to the game. Caregivers have a lot to tend to with a newborn in the house. Between the crying, sleeping, eating, and diaper changing, their kid is always on their mind. They definitely shouldn't forget who their newborn is when they age up to an infant. Parents will no longer need to introduce themselves to their little one after they've aged up to an infant. This was actually quite a big bug and one that I experienced myself, so I'm glad to see that that is fixed. Toddlers can once again gain movement skill while using slides. Weddings can be pretty boring when you're young. You just want some cake and to play. But that's no excuse for an infant to stretch while the couple are exchanging vows. Infants should be on their best behavior now. Well, the best they can be at that age. Toddlers can be mean, especially to their younger siblings. Infants will no longer stretch in response to being yelled at by a toddler. Top surgery scars are available when you re-enter CAS and not just when you create a new sim. Fashion is what you make of it. So if you pair the jacket cropped 
with full briefs, you shouldn't be judged by having the underwear clipped through the top. Infants like to chew things. It's all part of teething. Our little ones decided that they wanted to autonomously chomp their caregiver to the point the interaction cue was filled with the interaction. We've told them not to chomp so much, so they seem to have stopped. But what you tell them to do is up to you. Sims with a customized physical frame now have access to a wide range of fingernail options. Some say it's adorable. Others say it's terrifying. Either way, checking out your infant's teeth in CAS will not be accomplished by vampiric hissing. We aren't sure if they retained a thirst for blood though, so don't blink. Under console, it reads, we still can't find a keyboard with the any key, but if you want to press any key on your keyboard while on the start screen, the game would load as it should. While console simmers can use both the Sims 4 camera and Sims 3 camera options when using a mouse and keyboard, it wasn't the intent that only one of the two camera modes would let you interact with objects in build mode. Console simmers using a mouse and keyboard using either camera mode objects can, again, be interacted with and adjusted as expected. PlayStation simmers visiting the gallery will no longer see uploads and comments from profiles that have been blocked directly on PlayStation. This is in combination with the in-game provided block list, which can still be used to block players from all platforms at the EA account level. Under the growing together section, child sims wearing sweatshirt will no longer distort while zooming the camera out in live mode. I actually did have this issue. I didn't realize it was that shirt causing it. Some of our sims were a bit over eager to ask to move into your home after becoming friends. We've both reduced the frequency of how often you'll be asked, and we've made some adjustments to who can ask. Teens are now excluded, as well as a number of special NPCs. As amusing as it is to have Grim slouching on the sofa all day, he's got work to do. Both two-tone baggy button-up will now appear properly when filtering for masculine and feminine fashion. Camisole no longer shows distortion when worn by your Sims. No matter how well you prepare, you'll always forget something when going on vacation. In those situations, you hope you can buy what you need when you need it. Sleeping bags will now be able to be purchased while on vacation using your phone. Vegetarian and Child of the Ocean Sims will get negative moodlets if they decide to eat meat or fish from the food stalls when visiting Anchorport Wharf. An issue that was occasionally causing a Sims pregnancy to not progress has been resolved. Toddlers will now be able to successfully complete the studied numbers milestone. Under high school year fixes, Sims that confront their fear of the dark will not continue to be affected by the afraid of the dark scared moodlet buff. Under snowy escape fixes, adventurous Sims will once again be able to push on up to the peak of Mount Komorebi during their climbing excursion. Onwards and upwards, we always say. Climbing gear can be expensive, so you want it to last, and if it breaks, you want to be able to fix it. Now you can do just that, and instead of saying it's fixed, when you go to equip it, it will actually be fixed and will be equipable. Under the seasons fixes, it reads, a mysterious debug gift box, or unknown gift box if you play on consoles, was mistakenly added to the build catalog. If you happen to place one on your lot, congratulations. Not only do you get to keep it, it'll even have a real name now. It doesn't do anything, but it sure does look like a gift box. Very festive. However, if you're feeling like you missed out, fear not, you can find your own non-interactive gift box object hidden behind the bb.show hidden objects cheat. Under the cats and dogs, it reads, a dog being friendly to your infant will no longer cause your infant to stretch. Trying to go for jog while your little pooch is hungry won't cause your sim to stand in place. Now, where is that dog food? I'm honestly kind of surprised. There's a lot of interactions that they fixed that has caused your infant to stretch. I'm surprised there were so many in the game. And here are the dine out fixes. Dine out has been needing a lot of bug fixes lately, so I'm happy to see that they are tackling this. But it reads, when you open a restaurant, you want the best chefs. One thing to look for in an applicant is whether they can successfully manage to enter your establishment. It will be easier to find a suitable candidate now as all chefs should be able to get to the kitchen. 
under Strangerville fixes. Infants no longer stretch in reaction to government agents taking away your refrigerator. But what's in that refrigerator? For werewolves, when you are a part of a pack, you expect order and values. Now you'll be able to check what those values are by opening the social group panel and not seeing it blank. Moonwood mill trees and vegetarian will reflect the changing of the seasons from luscious greens to golden browns and back again. Under my wedding stories, Plague Wall Gen Collection's placeholder name wasn't the name of the plague that was intended. Apparently it was, and now is, Purveyor of Lost Messages. If you haven't achieved this award yet, maybe pay a visit to the beach and have a look around. And under Tiny Living, the final section, it reads, Infants no longer stretch when reacting to living inside a tiny home. And that is all for these patch notes. However, The Sims Direct Communications has tweeted this out. Regarding the loose tooth bug, our team has made progress in our investigation of the loose tooth bug. We appreciate your patience as we continue to work towards releasing a fix and re-enabling the feature soon. So this is a pretty big deal. I actually had this bug in my game. If your sim aged up from a child to a teen and they had a loose tooth, it completely changed their appearance. It would change their clothes, their facial structure, their skin tones, their eyes, everything. The bug was so bad that they actually pulled that feature out from the game. But it looks like they have made progress in working to fix it. So I hope to see this feature back soon. But that is all I have for this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. Did your particular bug get fixed? Let me know. I hope all of you have a lovely, lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.